Senator, can we get your reaction to the shooting? It is uh, heartbreaking to face okay. another mass killing uh, in this country at a school. This is the 24th time this year that guns have uh, been used at a K through 12 campus. 28 young people have died as a result of it. Yesterday was one of the worst, and uh, our hearts go out to the families. Uh, I can't imagine the tragedy that what this has visited on their families and so many of the other families across America. We're elected to do something about this kind of violence. Unfortunately, in the United States, it has become commonplace. Unfortunately, in the United States, we know that if we wait a few more days, there's bound to be another mass killing. To think that an 18-year-old bought two killer machines and these semi-automatic weapons and turned them on children and teachers in the school is an outrage. The president was right. It's time for us to stand up and fight back as a nation. Right now, um, you know, we need to be in the business of signaling to the American public and parents who are panicking right now that we're serious about protecting their kids. Uh, so whether it's a smaller expansion of the background check system, whether it's red flag laws, I just think we have to find a path to yes. Um, and I've been on the phone all morning uh, with Republican colleagues, uh, Democratic colleagues, to try to find that path. Listen, all I know is that I have to continue to try. It took over 10 years from the shooting of uh, James Brady to the passage of the Brady handgun bill. So sometimes you have to stay at these causes for uh, a long time. I don't know whether we'll be able to get uh, 60 votes in the Senate, but I'm going to do my best to try. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a this is a gun industry talking point. The gun industry wants to stop any discussion about changing the laws um, after these mass shootings because they know that that's the moment when the public is demanding policy change. I mean, you all know me. I talk about this issue every single day. I don't take a day off in trying to change the laws of this, uh, of this country, and I'm certainly not going to be silenced or muzzled by the gun lobby, which wants to shut us up at the very moment when the country is m most uh, in need of engagement from uh, political figures. Every other nation, from Canada to England, has all the same issues that we have. Mental health issues, people being whipped into hate on the internet, vid violent video games. The only difference between their countries and ours is that we are a nation that makes it so easy for people intent to kill others to get these weapons of war. So if you want to point to all these other things that you think are really going to make us safe and they don't address the ease with which Americans can get guns when they want to kill people, then you are not really serious about solving the problems. And I, again, this is a question of not what is going to happen in, in the Senate. I can tell you what's going to happen in the Senate because I've seen it before. It's the most distorted Groundhog Day that I've ever seen. This is just going to be the same thing as it was after Parkland, after Newtown. Here, nothing is changing. What needs to change is all of us recognizing what has really changed this institution in the past, which is people demanding the change, organizing for change, protesting for change, voting for change, holding people that don't get on board with change accountable, and changing them out of these offices. If we really want to protect our country and really get serious, we know the pathway it's going to take. It's going to take work and sweat. And this nation saying enough is enough. How many more children have to die before we say enough is enough? And that's only a question that each of us individually have to ask. Senator, there are two.